So yeah, before anything guys, I would like to first greet my concept getters, the CGs, you know, because in math it's all about getting the concept, right? If you don't get the concept, then everything else will just be, you know, uncertainty. You won't be sure whether you got it right or wrong, but if you get the concept, guys, come on. And this video, today's video is about making things easy. You know, I'm Mr. Say, I simplify math. So let's start with this. This theorem here is the Tancourt theorem. And remember, guys, in the previous video, I showed you guys how to construct for this theorem. Which means, in this video, I'm just going to go straight to proving. You can see at the top there, I wrote how to prove Tancourt theorem. And the first step is RTP, which is required to prove. That's the first thing you're going to write. You're going to write RTP, angle ABC equals to angle CDB, right? Then you're going to say construct. We constructed diameter BOE. And we also constructed chord ED. And remember, I showed you how to do it in the other video. And also you construct B1, B2, and also D1 and D2. Bear in mind, guys, the B1 and the D1 are the angles that you are proving. So your 1s are going to be the angles that you are proving. And your 2s, the, one, the ones I wrote in blue, are going to be the constructed angles. Okay? So... This is this is how easy this is going to be. I'm not going to explain a lot of the whys and the what what. I'm just going to give you how to do it in the exam, okay? In the exam. And guys, please don't tell your teachers that I showed you this. It's not illegal. It's not wrong. But hey, come on. Come on, guys. You don't want to share the secrets. You don't want to share our secrets. See, geez, don't share our secrets. So I'm going to start by saying proof. Here's the trick. Your ones and your twos always at the back of your mind just say my ones and my twos are always going to be added and be equated to 90 degrees so i'm going to write it okay i'm going to say b1 plus b2 is equals to 90 degree we'll think of the reason later all right so also write d1 plus d2 equals to 90 degrees always then that's where now you'll be like, okay, why is my B1 and B2 equated to 90 degrees? That's why I wrote, I, I drew this block, the yellow block on B1 plus B2. Do you see it? That yellow block, the box that is yellow in color is for 90 degrees, showing you that radius OB and the tangent passing through B, you know, radius OB and the tangent AB intersect at B. And we all know the theorem. It states what? It states that tangent will always be perpendicular to radius. Remember that theorem, right? And then now let's look at D1 and D2, guys. D1 plus D2 will make a 90 degree. Why? Look at the constructed diameter EB. You see EB, the diameter. It subtends the whole angle D. You see, so D1 plus D2 will be 90 degree because it, it is an angle in a semicircle. Come on, guys. This is easy. So you're going to see the reason is angle in a semicircle. Right? So now, <laughs> now this is the interesting part. Remember, we are proving the ones, right? If we are proving the ones, just say, ah, man, the twos are equal. Come on, the twos are equal. They gotta be equal. So I'm just gonna write it, okay? I'm gonna say, well, my B2 is equal to my D2. Then the question is, why? Why are the blue ones, the twos are, why are they equal? Then you're gonna look at the D2. Look at, look at this two here. This two is subtended by this arc. You see it? And also the D2 again is also subtended by this arc. You see it? So if two angles at the circumference are subtended by the same arc, uh, come on, in the same segment, those angles are going to be equal, right? So which means the reason here will be what? Angles in the, old, uh, angles in the same segment, right? So you're going to say angles in the same segment segment makes sense so obviously guys are uh, come on now uh, come on if this is equal to this and this is this come on come on which means this has to be equal to this come on guys imagine if you had a uh, mm, 
plus 3 being equated to 5. Imagine if the 5 was the 90 and the 3 was the B2. And again, you have mm plus 3 being equated to 5. Imagine if the 5 was the 90 and this 3 was the D2. Wouldn't the mm's be equal? Come on, it gotta be 2. Come on, which means these two are gonna be equal. Come on. So there's no way we're gonna have to waste time on this one. We're just gonna go straight to it and say what? If B2 is equal to D2, then... Then we're going to go straight to the point and say, therefore, B1 equals to D1. That's what we're proving. We're proving that this is equal to this. Then the last step, just to, you know, cherry on top to show you, to show the, the examiner that, hey, man, I'm just going to present it the way you want it. Okay. So I'm going to rewrite the RTP, right? I'm just going to say, therefore, angle ABC is equals to angle CDB then you are done. Uh, guys, remember, 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 right? You start with, with saying that the ones, the one and two, one plus two should give me 90, right? One plus two should give me 90. Then you just say the twos are equal and therefore the ones are equal. That's the step. Then you think of the reasons later if you remember your theorems. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. You got to pass math. You got to pass. I mean, come on. If you... Not gonna even say it. I mean, come on, come on. Didn't you say, ah, uh, today? You know me, you know me. I'm out.